in the name of Allah, most gracious, most compassionate. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine. Dear students, welcome to Pakistan International School Doha Qatar for e learning program. Dear students, this is week 10 of distance learning and lecture number 4 from lesson exports and imports of Pakistan and I am your teacher Mrs. Rabia Imshia Sohail. Kindly keep pen in your hand to note down the important points while watching video because you will have to answer questions at the end. If you find anything difficult, feel free to ask, dear students. The topic for today's lesson is, Exports and Imports of Pakistan, Learning Objectives. At the end of the lesson the students will be able to Understand the concept of trade Understand trade surplus and trade deficit Understand major export and imports of Pakistan Understand the concept of invisible export and imports Before we start our lesson we will revise the previously taught concepts again Trade. Trade involves the transfer of goods or services from one person or entity to another, often in exchange for money. Balance of payment. The balance of payments of a country is the difference between all money flowing into the country in a particular period of time and the outflow of money to the rest of the world. Trade surplus. If a country exports a greater value than it imports, it has a trade surplus or positive trade balance. Trade deficit. If a country imports a greater value than it exports, it has a trade deficit or negative trade balance. Export, Pakistan's Big Five. My dear students as we already discussed in our previous lectures about these five items that make up almost three quarters of all Pakistan's exports. These are cotton, rayon, rice sports equipment and carpets, imports of Pakistan. Pakistan is an agricultural country, it still imports edible oil, grain, sugar, and pulses. It is mainly due to the rapid growth in population and the agricultural output in the country is not sufficient for so many people. Beside these, Pakistan imports machinery non-electrical, power generating, electrical machinery, petroleum and its products, fertilizers, chemicals transport equipment, iron and steel, invisible export and import. An invisible trade is an international business that does not include an exchange of tangible goods. Any service, such as banking, insurance and tourism, that cannot be seen and recorded as it crosses boundaries between countries, here in this image we can see difference between invisible exports and imports. Invisible exports are services provided by the residents of a country that cause money to come into the country. Whereas, invisible imports are services purchased by the residents of a country that cause money to go out of the country, examples may include as well as goods that we can see and handle, such as iron, rice, carpets or machinery, visibles, there is a lot of wealth flowing into Pakistan which we cannot see or handle. Many Pakistani men work overseas, especially in the oil fields of Saudi Arabia and the UAE, or in the USA or UK, where wages are much higher than at home. They send back some of their money to their families in Pakistan. In 2007, this amounted to 5 billion US dollars. This money is called invisibles. Other people have businesses or own property abroad and send back some of the profits or rents back to their home country. This works both ways, of course. Many foreigners have businesses in Pakistan banks are a good example and send their profits back to their homelands, homework. Please go through the video lecture once again. Read PG. Number 6566 thoroughly. Check info box and pictures given in these pages carefully. Complete the given worksheets properly. Answer the given questions in your copy, this was all about today's lecture. If you have any question ask your subject teacher, thank you for being attentive. See you all in our next session take care and Allah Hafiz.